Yes indeed, the book of carpet installation is getting rewritten on this channel. What's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, we don't have any tag strip down. You don't need it down before the pad. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and lay all the pad, then we're going to channel it out for the tag strip. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Here's how it went down. Showed up on a job site with no tag strip. Somebody had a case of the Mondays, but that doesn't mean production has to slow down in any way, shape, or form. Nope, we got the young Chase Nasty to go run and get that tack strip. We lay all the pad, then we channel all the pad out, then we lay the tack strip after the fact, and that way production is still getting busy. Now, why should you not do this? No reason whatsoever. It was phenomenal. It was great. Profits soared, and it was exciting. So, we're rewriting it now. This is how you do it. First, you go into a house and you lay all the pad. You tape all the pad. Then you cut all the pad out. And then you lay the tag strip. And then you go ahead and bring in the carpet to install it. We're going to go ahead and try from the last step all the way back to the first step on one of these videos. But in the meantime, baby steps, man. You got to crawl before you walk. So we're just working our way around the room here. We're going to channel this out. And when you're an old pro like me, you know exactly where that tag strip's going to fall. And you know exactly how far to cut it back. But really, if you're a DIY type person, you're kind of figuring this out and want to try it. Just hold your hand against the baseboards and your knife will fall about an inch and a half away from the baseboard. That's perfect channeling right there. What, look at what pow, just snap that right off. You know what I'm saying? We're going to cut out a floor vent over here. Don't want to leave those because the second you cover them up and walk away, it's a forever moment. You never get that hole back until the homeowner is like, yo, my carpet's floating everywhere. You might want to get over here and cut the vents, dude. Do something. So. Now we're going to go ahead and drop these sticks down. Look at this. Just take my good old time, casual, cool stroll because I'm all about that cool lifestyle. Throw those tack strips around the room. Then we're going to go ahead and dive in and slop and pop these bad boys right into place. Check this out right here. We've got the tack strip falling right where it needs to go. Taking the hammer, just swinging it downtown, setting that new stick in, and life is good. Work your way around the perimeter. In a few short minutes, you'll be ready to bring in that carpet. Stretch it in with the tappity tap, and after that, you're getting paid making that bank. You know what I'm saying? Carpet business needs to be exciting, not the same old dull trade taught by these dinosaur installers here. So here's what we're going to do. If you've done anything wacky like this before, and this is, this is light work right here. This is easy stuff. Let me know the crazy things you've done on your job sites. Go ahead and drop those down in the comments section below. Or if you're going to stay at all professional and just live that lifestyle, not switching anything up and challenging the carpet and foreign game, do you. But we're going to go ahead and mix it up around here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next.